want to release let's see i want have you seen what is happening in zambia i'm praying what i'm seeing in zambia this year consigning rain is not good it's just that i don't want to say it i don't i don't want to prophesy it but i'm praying for the nation of zambia southern africa i'm praying that god may remember you with rain i'm praying that god will give you rain so that the issue of low shedding that you are going through it breaks my heart you know it touches my heart I don't know how a normal human being will survive without electricity for three days, for four days, no water, no electricity. It breaks my heart, you know, from the bottom of my heart, it breaks my heart. I don't even know. That's why all the attacks that I was heaping on the government, I can't, I can't just, I can't just when the government is under pressure i will add pressure on it i understand what the people of zambia are going through believe me this is the fault of nobody no one no one expected that no one expected that to happen it's unbelievable I, you know i pray for you you may think that i don't pray for you I pray for you. I ask God to give you rain. I ask God to give you rain. You know, I I ask God to give you rain. Give the people of Zambia rain. Life without electricity is uh, uh, you know how God how God operates. Many of you we are laughing at Nigeria. Uh, a few months ago, Nigeria load shedding, Nigeria load shedding. Today, Nigeria has, where I am here, you know, where today, ask anyone. We have not less than 23 hours light. In fact, now it has even gone to 24 hours light every blessed day. Where I am at Ebu, Ebu, where ask, ask anybody. Ask anybody. Uh -huh. And you, when you are saying Nigeria, 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 don't have electricity. There is electricity. So I am praying that God release rain to the people of Zambia this year. Though I, have, I didn't see enough rain. I pray that uh, President H.H., whatever he want to do in China with the energy works out because you really need to prepare yourself because another drought is coming. You need to prepare yourself quickly between now and this time next year so that there will be other sources of energy because another drought is coming, bigger than the one that you have experienced this year. That's why we, I'm praying that people respond, people respond. Uh, it, sometimes when we advise the government, it looks like we are fools. You know, when we give advice to the government, it looks like we are fools. It looks like we are not wise. But we are wise in opposition. When did we become fools? Did we just form government and those that we are giving good advices became fools? Hmm? That's what I'm saying. If you if you see what is happening today, the president, HH is a very good person. That guy is a very good guy. But he has been messed up by the people he, in, he trusted with his leadership. The people that advise him. They have messed him up. Same as Eddie Galungu, like, like I said, I knew Eddie Galungu way before he became president. This was a very humble guy. Same as HH. You know, these are people that used to listen to advice. And, they, and, and when you want a proper advice, you need to get advice from someone who is in touch with the people. You don't just form government and say, ah, I'm not going to 
listen to this one. This one is a nobody. You start listening to the rich. The rich will give you advice of the rich. They don't know what happened on the ground. How can you get somebody that lives in a, in a, in a Kaplonga and tell him to, to give you advice of what is happening in Mississippi compound? He will tell you that everything is okay. Most of the people that live in Kablonga, they can afford. So when they are giving the president an advice, they give the president an advice from that level of people that can afford. That's why you need people. The, one of the reasons why Sata was almost succeeding in his leadership is because he understood the poor. Most of his advisors were poor people because the poor will tell you what poor people are going through. So when you win an election, you appoint only friends, those that you think that are educated. As you know that ed ed most educated people in Africa are cowards. Most educated people in Africa cannot give you any good advice. They are just after their pocket, nothing else. Most educated people, that, that, that's them in Africa. So you tell them to, to, to give you advice of what is happening. Hey, my friend, what is happening in Intendere? They don't live in Intendere. They don't know what is happening in Intendere. So that's how a church was deceived. If not, the issue of electricity was not going to be there. You know, if we were advising a church the way we were advising him when he was in opposition, and if he was listening to us when he was listening when he was in opposition, this thing was not going to be there. When a church won an election, he started listening to, to the rich, you know, he started listening to people, to people that he thinks are educated. Hmm. Sorry. It, 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 to people that are educated they start giving him wrong advice you know they tell him no uh, everything is okay no IMF IMF what if a church if we are still giving him advice the way we are giving him advice I was going to tell him my brother go to China and look for alternative energy IMF don't have anything good for Africa. IMF actually want Africa finished. They want our population depopulated. They, they want, they don't like even our government. They don't like our president. So instead of going to IMF, go to China. B build that relationship with the China. The world is running to China. Angola is one of the fastest growing nation in the world today because they are dealing with the Chinese. China is willing to help Africa. IMF don't have anything to give us. IMF themselves, they are suffering more than us in Africa. So if that relationship was built three years ago, by now would have alternative energy. But it was not built because people deceived the the president. But one thing that is making me happy today, if you look at my tone, you will see that really uh, things are changing. It's because HH is waking up right now. HH is waking up. HH, his appointment now, you can see that he has realized that most of the people that he trusted with power they didn't love him. So he has waking up now to appoint proper people. Sorry about that. A call came in. So he has waking up to realize, to say, no, most of the people I've been appointing don't really love me. They, they are just here after their pocket. If I give policy, they don't move with the policy. They're after the pocket. So I'm, I'm enjoying the changes that is taking place in the government now. There are people that mean well for, for the president, and many of them are being remembered. So I'm happy, you know, I'm happy. If some other criminals that are remaining, that think that they managed to, that think that they have managed to win the hook a church, your time is coming. There is a clean, a cleansing that is taking place now 
in HS government and I'm enjoying it. This cleansing is going to help the party. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Chances like uh, Simon Mwewa, opportunities, opportunities like Simon Mwewa. You can be in, you can be still jumping up and down, but very soon, uh, <laughs> the rod, the rod that is moving now, the cleansing rod that is moving now will touch you. Uh, it will touch you. The people that fought for the.